In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create sliders with the slider constructor in Agility WordPress theme. So first let me show you, I've created three slides. Back to basics, fully responsive, and my slide, which we created in an earlier tutorial. If we take a quick look at these slides, you'll see that my slide has a title and a caption. They're both on. It's an image slide. You can see the image here. And it's going to link to Google. The fully responsive slide is a text-only slide, so there's no image. And the back to basic slide has an image, but we've disabled the title. I'm just going to adjust this just to make it clearer. So you can see in the slides area that these three slides now exist, and I've also categorized them all as main slider category, just to make things easy. So now when we come over to the slider constructor, which can be accessed via the agility tab, then slider constructor, the first time you come here you'll, you'll be presented with a fresh slider to create. So the first thing we want to do is actually give it a name, so let's call it my cool new slider. Anytime, anytime you change something on here you'll see this alert come up. This means you don't want to navigate away from the page before you save it unless you don't want to save your changes. So this screen gives us on the left side parameters and on the right side results. So on the left side we can determine exactly what parameters we want our slides to meet in order to be included in this slideshow. So we'll select the main slider category and you can see that all three of those slides are present. Now we can also set a limit. Say we only want to have two slides in our slideshow. We'll change this to two. Now we only have two slides over here. To do unlimited, we, press, we set it to negative one. We can also change the sort order so we can reverse it and have them go in descending order instead of ascending. So once we save this slider, you'll see we have this short code show up here. Now, the short code is only one way that you can include a slider in your theme. Um, for example, on the home page, you'll be given an option, or if you're using Bricklayer, you can select which slider you want to set um, for that particular brick. And that'll be in a drop down, and it'll show this title up here that you can choose. But if you want to just inject a slider into the middle of your page, you can use this shortcode. So this is just a sample page I've created. I paste the shortcode right here. And now when we view this page, you can see the slider gets injected right here. So here's our first slide. Here's our second slide, which you remember was text only. And here's our third slide, which you can see has the title disabled. And also note on the first slide, we've got a link here. So when we, when we click on the image, it brings us over to Google. So that's how easy it is to create a group of slides with Slider Constructor. Um, there's also advanced options. So you can create sliders from, you, they don't have to be necessarily just from slides. You could create sliders from posts. So when I click post, you can see that my two posts, Hello World and Wuthering Heights, show up. And then you can organize it by category, or by author, um, or any of these other, other parameters here. You can also choose to, to deselect something, you just hold control and press click, and then click. You can also reorder them manually, so if I want fully responsive to be first, followed by my slide, and then back to basics. I can drag them around. You'll see that sort by automatically changes to manual order, and the manual order is listed here. Now if I save and refresh this page, you'll see that my text only fully responsive slide is first, followed by the others. So that's about it. 